Hi, today I'm going to show you how to change a wireless channel on your Hub 3. If you have another Virgin Media Hub, the instructions will work just as well. This is one of the most effective ways of improving your wireless network performance. The Hub has two different wireless frequencies working together at the same time, 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz. The 2.4 GHz frequency tends to have the best range, but the 5 GHz frequency usually gives the best speeds. For more details, check out our dual band video. The speed you'll get on your devices will depend upon what Wi-Fi frequencies they support, and of course where the device is located in your home. Now each of the frequencies is divided into channels. Wireless channels are a little like motorway lanes, and in the same way that too much traffic can clog up a motorway, too many wireless routers in your area all using the same channel will cause congestion and slow you down, and that's no fun for anyone. To prevent this, you can select another channel for your hub so that the internet traffic can flow more freely. However, another wireless network in range, maybe in your neighbour's home, could later be set to the same channel and this could affect connection by causing interference. That's why it's a good idea to change the channel from time to time. So, if you're using this hub, all you have to do to change your wireless channel is to turn it off and on again using the power button at the back. The hub will then automatically check and change to the wireless channel with the least congestion in your area. Some customers who are more familiar with the advanced setting on their hub change their wireless channels manually. While that's possible, we would not recommend doing that as it fixes the channel selection permanently, which may not be a good idea as your neighbour's Wi-Fi settings may change from time to time. Turning your hub off and on again is quicker and more simple. That's it! Your wireless channel has now been changed. It's less likely you'll need to change a channel for the 5 GHz frequency, but if you do need to, you can do it the same way. Now remember, you may need to do this simple and effective procedure again from time to time to make sure you're getting the best possible wireless network performance. For more information on improving your broadband speed, check out our Improving Your Broadband Speed video. That's it. I hope this was helpful.